Welcome back to Rolling with BJ in the Kitchen. Today, I am going to make some very juicy, tender beef flat short ribs. They're cut very thin and the recipe is delicious. So, let's get rolling. Okay, preheat your oven. I have preheated my oven to 365 and it's been on for about 10 minutes now. So, I washed the meat and I seasoned it. And I'm gonna show you what seasonings I use. But first I wanna let you know, I cut up some onion. Now I got two pans of uh, short ribs. One pan, I'm gonna do only onion, sliced onion, that's all this is. Okay, so I got this sliced up already and I'm just gonna Put all my vegetables on this tray right here so that they can be easily accessed okay and the other tray i'm gonna put some sliced mini sweet peppers on those so i've already started slicing them so we got orange well that was yellow i guess this is the orange and this is the red. Okay, so we're gonna do one more of each and that should be enough. Okay, so here's a little tray. And by the way, all this is by Princess House. In case you guys are wondering and in case you wanna purchase anything, starting next month, the month of May, I will be selling Princess House products on my channel. So you're more than welcome to place an order. I'll have a link on there where you can put in an order. I'll also have a link where you can go and check out other Princess House items. As I told you before, about 98% of the things that I use are by Princess House. So I just... Slice these in half like that. And then I take the inside out. And we're gonna just slice these and put them on the tray with the others. Slice these up right quick. It don't take long at all. Okay. So I'm going to finish slicing these. I just want to let you see. They are the mini sweet peppers. Totally optional. That's why I'm doing two different pans. I'm doing one pan with just onions white onion, simple white onion and seasoning. And the other pan I'm doing with the peppers just to give it a different flavor. Both, both recipes are really easy and they both taste great. So I'm gonna finish these off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I washed them, I laid them in the pan, I seasoned the other side already. So now I'm just gonna season this side. And I just want you to see how thin they are. See, they're very thin. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them are in this pan. This is a Fantasia lasagna dish. That's what this is called. Okay, you can cook it, use it to cook in the oven with. So anyway, we're gonna use garlic powder. And we're not using a lot, you just sprinkle it on top. You can use seasoned salt. And there's no measuring to this. You just sprinkle however much you want 
on your food. Some people like a lot of seasoning, some people like a little. And actually some people don't like pepper on their food or whatever. This is black pepper, ground black pepper as well. Um, these seasonings are optional. Some people might use Mrs. Dash, that's fine. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little accent salt as well, just a little. All the seasons I use are what we like, and they are totally optional, and you can use, you can substitute them, but that's how it looks. And as I said, I got my little tray with my vegetables, and we're just gonna put the onion, we're just gonna layer the onion all on top, There's no magic to this. It's just no magic at all. You just lay it out, lay the onion on top as much as you want or as little as you want. You can actually use green bell peppers. I just wanted to just throw this onion on here. Every time I cook this dish, I use different stuff. So like this time I'm using onion on these and the other ones, like I said, I'm using the peppers. One time I might use everything all at one time. Now, use whatever butter or margarine you prefer. I prefer nuco margarine. And those of you been watching me for a while know that I live for nuco margarine. And you just wanna Put some squares. This is just to help give it flavor and help make the juice with the onion and the season blend all together and it's going to be really good. And I'm not putting a lot. I'm just putting little squares, just dropping them in on top of the onion and the meat. Okay, see? I like to do little simple dishes so you don't have to go out and purchase a lot of fancy stuff to make a good meal, you can use what you have in your kitchen. These are basic things that we all probably have in the kitchen already. So you don't have to go out and buy no fancy seasoning. I mean, it's good sometime, but like I said, I try to cook with what's in the kitchen already so that if you want to get up and go in the kitchen and start cooking you don't have to run to the store to get a whole bunch of stuff okay so this is the last and then after I put the butter in here I'm just going to use A fourth cup of water. You guys like me to measure stuff. So, those are done. I'm gonna push those to the side. And here's the second pan. Okay, I gotta season the top of these. Little accent, very little. Little pepper. Seasoned salt. And garlic powder.
in a tray of vegetables. You're just gonna sprinkle those all over. Like I said, there's no magic to this. Just do what you like. And I'm probably just going to make some rice and corn on the cob or something to go with this. Some type of flavored rice and some corn on the cob. That's what I'm thinking. And maybe some rolls. So we're just going to go on top and place the butter on top. Well, this is margarine, butter, whatever you have. And I'm sure you probably have a favorite just like I do. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just layering butter on the top, the margarine. And we're gonna seal these up with aluminum foil. Okay. All righty, a couple of more, and we'll be done with this one. Okay, I'm going to drop that right there, right there in the middle. Okay, we're done with that. Now, as I said, we're just going to get a little water. My little Fantasia measuring cup. How about that? Prince's house. Okay, so you just wanna pour a little water, not directly on top of your meat, just around the sides. And you don't wanna put a lot. Just a little. We're gonna do both of them. You got the oven preheated. Now we're gonna just seal these up with heavy duty aluminum foil. You wanna seal both of them. Well, in your case, you'll probably be cooking one pan, but however many pans you cook, you just want to seal them up really, really tight. And we're going to put them in the oven for about 50 minutes. And then we're going to come back and turn them over and cook the other side. Okay, I'm going to cover the other one off camera because I got to go get some more aluminum foil out the pantry. So, I'll be back. Okay, I have both pans in the oven. 
I have it on 365 and this is electric oven and we're gonna put this on 45 minutes and we're gonna come back and check it in 45 minutes Okay, I'll see you in 45. Okay, the timer has stopped. We're gonna check our short ribs. Before we do that, I just wanted to let you know that I decided to steam some broccoli to go with the short ribs. And I'm using my Prince, Prince's House steamer. Now this item is from the Prince's Heritage Collection. And yes, it's crystal and you can cook on it. It has a screen to protect the, the crystal from the fire. So you put your screen on there, on the fire, and then you put your pot on there. So I got my water steaming. And then this is the top part. And it has holes, I want you to see. It has the holes in there. Okay, so I'm gonna let this broccoli steam. And we're going to check on these short ribs. Okay. So now we're going to cut this timer off. And I'll be right back when I pull them out. Okay, this is the one with the peppers. So we're just going to flip these over. And just move the peppers over, flip all the meat over, and then we're going to check the other one and do the same thing. So I'm going to finish this one off camera. I'm just going to keep flipping them. And then I'll be back. Okay. I turned them all over. Now I'm just going to take this uh, bulb, scoop the juice, and just drop some all over the meat. And put it back in. Now this time I'm going to leave it in for an hour before I take it out. So it'll be about 55 minutes to an hour before I check on them again. So I'm going to continue to put the juice over this one and then we're going to open the other one and see what it looks like. Okay, here's the one with the onions. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to turn them over. We're going to turn all of them over. And then we're going to spread the juice over them. And put them back in the oven. Okay, I'm going to finish turning them over off camera. So, I'm just using the bulb. Put juice over them. And now, we're going to put them back in the um, oven. Okay, they're both back in the oven. And this time, like I said, we're going to do one hour. Okay, one hour for those. And the fire for the steamed broccoli is on medium. 
Is it on medium? Yes, it's on medium. I started it on medium high just to get the fire, I mean the water boiling. Now that the water is boiling and the broccoli is in there, I got it on medium. And as you can see, it's doing a great job. It's steaming. So I'm going to let that steam for another 10 or 15 minutes. I like mine kind of soft, but if you like yours kind of stiff, but not hard, just cook yours a little less time than I'm cooking this. But again, I like to just take the fork and just break mine up like that. So I want mine to be a little soft. Okay, so again, I'm going to steam my broccoli total about maybe 20 to 25 minutes on medium and it's already been on there what about what maybe eight minutes already so we don't have much longer to go with that but i'll show you how it look when i finish okay i cut my broccoli off fires off and i'm just gonna let it sit there and continue to steam and i'm gonna plate it later with my meal but for now i'm just gonna leave it right in there so see how it look 20 minutes I say 20 to 25 minutes one thing I love about Prince's house your food come out absolutely great nothing stick you know you don't have any problems with it and if you do you can return it but for the most part I love my Prince's house cookware I use it all the time that's all I use that's all I have basically so I mean you want good products they either these are good products and we're gonna wait on that meat let's see we got 47 more minutes to go so I'll see you in 47 minutes okay we're a little past the halfway mark so now what you want to do is just go in and check just check them to make sure that you still have water in them still have juice in them so I'm gonna check mine and if I need any water I'll let you know and I got my water ready right here that's about how much I would put in each one which is like uh, this is a small little cup it looked big but it's not um, so that's probably about a half a cup but put as much as you feel you need but don't make it real watery or anything like that but if it still have water that's fine if it still have juice I'm just gonna check mine and I'll let you know okay I want to add a little water in mine so I'm not gonna pour it on top I'm just gonna pour a little on the sides just like I did in the beginning okay now you can tell the cup look a little smaller okay so I just poured that much water in there and I'm just gonna move them around a little to make sure they're not sticking which I know they're not gonna stick but you know we want to check anyway okay and I already done the other pan so now I'm just gonna put them back in and finish out this hour and then I'm gonna turn them back over and let them cook for about 10 more minutes and then we'll be done I'll be right back well no I won't I'll see you in about 25 minutes okay timer so it's been an hour let's see what's going on I'll be right back after I pull them out okay this is what they look like right now
So I'm just moving them around a little. Okay, and like I told you, I want to flip them one more time. This is beef, so I like to make sure my meat is cooked very well. So I just want to get a little more color on the other side. Now it don't matter about the onions because now the onions have cooked the flavor into the meat. So now we can just flip these and I'm going to put them back in for about maybe 12 minutes. It looks so beautiful. Okay. Just take the bowl. And spread some love on them. I need to tilt the pan. I can't do it because I'm using one hand right now. But I'm going to just spread some love all over them. And put them back in the oven for about 10 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to do the other ones as well. I'll show you when I get ready to do those. Okay. Here's the one with the peppers. So we're just going to flip these over. won't be in there very long at all. I can tell they're nice and tender. Okay, so now I'm going to spread some love all over these, and I'm going to put them back in the oven. I'll be back in about 10 minutes. I think 10 minutes should be long enough, and then we're going to come back and name them and have dinner. Okay, 10 minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, our 10 minutes is up. And here we are. Those are the ones with the onions. And these are the ones with the peppers. Okay, so I'm going to try one of each. And I'll be right back after I plate them. Okay, before I dig in, I just want to show you guys how easy the bone come out. Bear with me, I'm using one hand. Maybe I should set this camera down. Give me a second. Okay. I think I got it set up. Okay. See the bone? It just slide right out. Okay. So I have fried rice 
broccoli, and beef. Hey, beef and broccoli. Okay, so I'm going to go on and taste some of this. And I'm going to give it a name. And then I'm going to finish eating off camera. Okay, here we go. Okay. I look like the headless video person, huh? Let's see what I could do. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm really going to have to go. I got to eat. So, we're going to name this BJ Effortless Beef Short Ribs with Broccoli. So, thanks for rolling with BJ in the kitchen. I look forward to you subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, leave, leave a comment. Share with a friend. <coughs> hit the like button. Button? Yes. Tell them hit the like button. Share your the video with your friends. And the pop up is coming out yet. Yes. And subscribe. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And by the way, this is a Fantasia Princess House plate <laughs> crystal. It's smoke brown. They come in a set of four. Anyway. I will have the links down below um, in May to Princess House. And for now, I just want to share a lot of things that I have and a lot of things that they have on the, on the website for sale that you guys can order. And I'm going to get off here and eat my dinner. And I will put the directions and everything in the description box below. Again, thank you for rolling with BJ. Be blessed. Good night.